Alright, what's going on guys? New Enforcer here bringing a brand new video. Uh, I still have a little bit of strep left in me, so I don't want to record like for hours like I normally do. I want to do a quick video. Um, it's just going to be a live com over some gameplay. Um, we're here on MWR. We're going to be playing some District, it looks like. Um, what the hell? Is this guy up here? No, he isn't. Okay, and then I got one bursted. But today we're going to be talking about my concerns for MW4. Now, as of recording this video, Modern Warfare 4 isn't confirmed to be the next Call of Duty yet, but pretty much everybody in the community believes that it is going to be Modern Warfare 4. Pretty much everybody. Like, uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find a person that, damn... That doesn't think that MW4 is going to be the, the next Call of Duty game. And I am one of them. I'd be very surprised if it isn't MW4. They'd be missing out on a great opportunity as a business if they if they don't do MW4. This guy is a fucking loser. Um, MW4 is something that the community has wanted for a very long time. I almost lost that gunfight. And uh, it is something that... I am looking forward to, but I do have some concerns about it. Oh my god, I am getting shit on. I am 2 and 5. Haven't done a commentary in a while, boys. But, um... We are expecting MW4, and of course we are expecting it to be a good game. Like, I am expecting it to be a good game. Um, if it does come out. But then again, I thought Black Ops 4 was going to be a good game. Now, I still like Black Ops 4 as a game, but some people dislike it. Um, they just don't play it anymore. Which, I mean, doesn't really make sense to me. I'm 2 and 7. I am actually 2 and 7. But, um, this, this game that is going to be coming out, oh my fucking god. Like, seriously, I am getting shit on. But, um, I'm really looking forward to this thing. So, let's talk about MW4. Let's talk about it. So, some of my concerns for MW4. First, is going to be the nostalgia cords that Activision will pull with this game. They will pull nostalgia cords just like they have with Black Ops 4, and that comes with the microtransactions. The microtransactions in MW4 are going to be crazy nostalgia pulls. And if you don't think so, look at Black Ops 4. They've done it with... They've done it with Misty. They've done it with a ton of Blackout characters. They've done it with DLC maps. They've done it with... with camos. They've done it with reticles. They've done it with pretty much anything that they can do, and MW4 is an even more loved franchise, somehow, than the Black Ops series. So, or at least a lot of people do believe that it is more loved, especially with games like COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Um, they are going to be pulling those strings of fans, and they are going to be charging some crazy prices for those micro DLC, um, which is what they already do now with Black Ops 4, but I feel like MW4 is going to be even crazier. Now, there's not going to be a Blackout mode this year, or uh, not Blackout mode, there's not going to be a Battle Royale mode this year, which I thought is a smart idea. They're also bringing back Campaign, which is another really smart idea. They should have never taken away Campaign to begin with. So many people, so many people buy COD for the Campaign, it's not even funny. And this blackout mode, in my personal opinion, just is, it, it ain't it, Chief. But that's just me. I'm not really a battle royale type of person. Like I played Fortnite. Like I had a Fortnite phase on my channel, but it's just I was never very good at it. So I should have never even done it, to be honest. But I mean, this is just a franchise that they are gonna pour the nostalgia out. They're just gonna put out nostalgic thing after nostalgic thing. And you know people are gonna eat it up. Which I mean, it's perfectly 
fine for them to do that. I mean, it is their stuff. It's not like they're stealing from other companies or something like that. But just know that the micro DLC in this game is going to be absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> Another thing. Okay. I'm starting to hurt. Another thing that I'm concerned about for Black Ops 4. I mean, not Black Ops 4. I was talking about Black Ops 4, now I got Black Ops 4 on the mind. Another thing that I'm going to be concerned about for MW4 is the reuse or recycling of things. Now, people already thought that this was a problem with MW3, like they reused a lot of the weapons. And a, uh, not a lot of the maps, but they did bring back some MW2 and COD4 maps into the game. Even though they were like remakes, they weren't like completely like ripoffs of the maps that they've already done. Um... People were already kind of upset with that. And I feel like with MW4, since we've had MWR, they're gonna, again, uh, kind of recycle and reuse some of the things that they've uh, used in older games. Which isn't necessarily a problem if they do it correctly. I feel like they did it correctly in MW3. It wasn't, like, super recycled. There were, like, some elements, like the ACR the scar things like that but as long as they don't go overboard with that I feel like we should be perfectly fine hopefully they don't go overboard with it I mean obviously that's that's the goal with every Call of Duty especially sequels they're really hard to not reuse the same things because of course it is a continuation of the story so there are some things that they are going to keep the same or that they are going to reuse, but hopefully they don't go overboard with it. Now, some people said that they did go overboard with it in MW3. I don't personally believe that they did. I am getting absolutely shit on. What are you talking about? I'm 17 and 17. I'm playing like ass, but this video is really about gameplay. Hopefully they can just get the balance right of nostalgic things and just hopefully they don't reuse too much which is of course the goal with any sequel now i do have some more things to talk about we will talk about them next game so uh yeah i will see you guys then boys we are back um we're on showdown now hopefully i don't go 19 and 17 this game hopefully i can do a little bit better but there are two more things that i do want to talk about concerns that i have for mw4 if mw4 is the game um, one thing is the campaign. It's gonna be short. Um, just one thing I with the campaign, I don't really know where they're gonna go with it. Like, it's kind of weird. Uh, they're in a weird spot right now with the campaign. Um, Price literally just killed Makarov, and it looks like he's gonna be taken by the authorities at the end of MW3. So I'm not really sure what they're gonna do with the whole, like... Captain Price thing? Like, what is going on in the story of MW4? Um, obviously, they've had a lot of time. I mean, a lot of time to think about it. Am I blind? Did I, oh, he was laying down on the ground. Okay. But, I'm just surprised that, like, he... That, like, I just don't know where they're gonna go with this story. I am gonna get shit on again this game. This is going to be really fun. A good thing I'm not worrying about gameplay or I'm just, I would just rage this entire time. But, um... Yeah, those are my, that's my only concern with the campaign. I just don't know where they're going to go with it. This guy's sweating his balls off. Like, come on, bro. I just don't know where they're going to go with it. That's my only concern with the campaign. Um, I'm very happy that they're bringing it back. Missed the campaign in Black Ops 4 this year. Really did. Should have never taken it away. I would have played it. I always play the campaign. So, I don't know why they took it away. Blackout was a... Was a nice try, but you can never really get rid of the campaign for COD, and I think they realized that, and now they're finally bringing it back. I feel like that's the smartest move they could have made. Oh my god, how long does it take to, for you to pick up a grenade and throw it, man? That's a bull. Alright, no, get up, get up there before you get shot by the helicopter, please. Alright, so, my final concern... For MW4. I actually forgot what it was. 
Oh, I, I got it. Is the oversaturation of the Modern Warfare franchise that we've had so far on um, this this console generation? Now, we have MWR, which I'm playing right now. Um, and another thing that a lot of people want is MW2R, or Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about that and hoping that that comes out. And I just choked a helicopter because I'm complete shit at the game. But hopefully they don't oversaturate the Modern Warfare game market. And with that being said, that means hopefully, even though I do want to see it, it is something that I... It would be really cool to see, especially for me, a person that never got to play MW2. Hopefully they don't release MW2 Remastered and Modern Warfare 4 at the same time. In my opinion, that would kind of compromise the sales of MW4 unless MW2 Remastered was clipped on to it. But, um, hopefully they don't make that mistake. Oh my god, this kid is so fucking irritating. He doesn't move. But, it's just something. I'm gonna die to this grenade. That's so undeserved, man. But, whatever. Um, hopefully they don't oversaturate the market with MW games. That's my, with my Warfare games. That's Those are my concerns. For MW4 and next year's Call of Duty in general. If it isn't MW4, then it would be perfectly fine to release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. That would be perfectly fine with me. And even if they do decide to go with the MW4 and MW2 Remastered at the same time, um, I would still get both of them because I am a COD fanboy. So. These are just things that I think will make the game more accessible to the general public, people that aren't for sure buying COD games every year, like me. Um, let me know what you guys think about these concerns that I have for the next game down in the comment section below. Um, we're going to end out this game, though. We're going to... No! Come on, man! How does the other team have air dominance? Makes no sense. Who on the other team is getting a helicopter? Other than that kid with the M16 that was absolutely shitting on me. Okay, go off. Go off, teammates. They're like, how does this kid have a, on a 10? How is he on a 10 kill streak? We have a helicopter in the sky. Shit! Throw a stun. Oh, that was a shitty stun. Throw another stun. Throw another stun. Okay, I stunned him. That guy's dead. Oh, is he on this thing right here? Oh, how did I get that kill? Am I dead? I'm not dead yet. Oh, dang it, man. No. I swear if we somehow lose this game, bro. I'm going off. I turned the game around. That guy's dead. Let's go. We got payback. That guy's dead. No, he's eating. One of them was eating. Come on. Come on. We can win this. We can win this, bro. We can win this game. No, my auto-aim got so weird right there, and we lost because that kid got a double kill. But as I said, let me know your guys' opinions on my uh, concerns for MW4 down in the comment section below. But with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. Back to regular videos tomorrow. My voice is feeling a lot better. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And with that being said, it's been the new Enforcer. And, uh, yeah. See you guys.